Hi everyone, Casey here from Home Quarters and in today's episode of Blockbuster, we are featuring South Beach residences and stay tuned to the very end where we check out a sea view facing unit, a city view facing unit and a gorgeous three bedroom here at South Beach residences. Without further ado, let's check it out. Right now we are here at the car park level, even the car park is pristinely staged, pristinely interior design. You can see that even though we are underground, we still have a lot of lawn feature, green walls that is in here. You don't feel like you are underground as well. So before you head out for the game of golf, you can envision yourself in the garden, in that lawn already. So we are at District 7, the Bugis region here at South Beach Residence. Imagine yourself coming back home on your car, your Ferrari, Porsche or the Mercedes. This is what will be greeting you at the lobby area and fully, fully concierge right from the basement to all the way to lobby level one, all the way to your common facility as well. What more could you ask for? Right now, we are at the basement two level, which is the car park level for residents here at South Beach Residences. This is so grand. This is the kind of feeling you want your guests to have when they are visiting you. And here we are at South Beach Residences. You can get everything like this here. Of course, for our South Beach Residences, where is it? It's at South Beach Road, obviously. We are in 99 years, leasehold property, TOP in 2016, 109 luxurious unit on top of JW Merritt. It is an integrated development together with hotel together with great A office together with retail FMB and integrated together with the MRT station what more could you ask for this is really the top of the top of the integrated development here in Singapore so no other integrated development as far as I am concerned is being integrated with a five-star hotel it is the residence here is on top of it is as though you are six seven eight nine ten star here at South Beach residences within South Beach Avenue the retail space just below South Beach residences we have a slew of retail stores including Japanese fine dining omakase, all day American brunch and breakfast, and even healthy cuisine that do not use any preservative. Not forgetting multiple bars and pubs that serve from craft beers to high-end whiskey. Southbridge Residence is developed by City Development Limited CDL, one of the Singapore's most experienced luxury developer. Now let's take a look at South Beach Residence locality. With a large number of dining, retail and entertainment options within South Beach Residence itself, if this can't fulfill your daily needs, you can take a short stroll to Suntec City directly by an underground walkway for more selections. How convenient is that during the rainy season? With direct connection to Exponent MRT Station and City Hall MRT Interchange, you are just one stop away from major business nodes and offices. For owners who drive, you are 5 minutes away from Central Business District CBD, 10 minutes to Orchard Road and a mere 15 minutes to Changi Airport, perfect for the frequent flyers. For young couples or families with school-going children, you can find a Stanford Primary School within 2KM. It is also really close to other schools such as School of the Arts, Singapore Management University, Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts, and etc. Condo facilities at South Beach residents include indoor and outdoor gym, children pool, children playground, gourmet pantry, reading room, function room, jacuzzi, and more. The most exciting facility is on level 22, which is the infinity pool. You can enjoy the beautiful and scenic Singapore city and sea views while you take a relaxing swim. Talk about luxury at its finest. Hi there, welcome to bedroom, 990 square feet. Here we are at the city facing two bedroom here at South Beach Residence. Later on, if you are keen to look at the sea view facing one, stay tuned. Wait a while after this home tour, we will bring you there. As we come in here, the first thing that hit you is this kitchen area. Fully open concept, definitely great for that modern couple that do love this sort of attribute to the kitchen itself. We got a huge island countertop. If you do love to bake, if you do love to host, I think this is really something that you got to consider when you are choosing something right downtown, beautiful architectural, iconic, and only have 190 units. You got to wait and see what this unit have to offer. We are just at the doorstep only. So we have everything, the appliances all supplied by Miller. We have your coffee maker, your steam oven, your hood and hob, your washer dryer, 
And where is the fridge? The fridge is actually here, a hidden very well with the cap and tree and also we have a normal refrigerator and a freezer right below here. We got to expect that if you are indulging in some of the wine and cheese and alcohol, you do need that wine chiller and it is safely tucked just below this island countertop here. Of course, South Beach residents spare no expense giving the residents utmost convenience. We have a little bit of that window over here. If you want to do your drying, your washing, a little bit of that window is over on this side as well for a little bit of light exposure, natural light exposure. While you are cooking, you don't need to turn on the lights. It's possible to do it here. So that's it for this kitchen. Let's move on to the dining and living space. Coming out of this kitchen island, we will be hit first up with your dining space. The developer has put up the interior design such that you are able to put in a four-seater. I think definitely elongating this space to be a six-seater or changing the position from a portrait to a landscape will allow you to put in at least a six to even an eight-seater. A small round table is definitely good enough for here. And as you look up, you can see that there is no AC unit because everything is darkless as per all luxury apartment should be because I think the AC cassette is a little bit of an eyesore isn't it? Good high ceiling, I think close to about 3 meter on here. You got a feature wall because this living area have a lot of wall space for you to play with. Of course, we have put in interior design, a little bit of a TV over here, huge panel floor to ceiling of a window for you to enjoy that beautiful, beautiful city view. So now we are at the living area. A good size living area is uh, being placed in here, an L-shaped sofa. You can watch TV in here, you know, kick up your leg, enjoy some refreshment in here with your guests, your friends, your family. You can all chat up a good time over on this front. Even though you do not have a balcony here on the living space area, you are still able to actually put in a little bit of your planter, and actually open the window to sprinkle some water on there. So I feel that without that balcony space, because downtown on the area itself, it could have a lot of construction and a lot of noise and a lot of dust. Actually, without that balcony, uh, seems a little bit better and definitely fully utilize all that space that you paid good money for. As we head over to our common bedroom, I do like the size of this common bedroom in here, especially right downtown. Usually downtown projects have smaller spaces, but in South Beach residents, they are really generous with their size. After putting in a single bed, you still have space for that study area. And when work from home is increasingly becoming more popular, I think this small little space here is really, really important. So either you put in a study and if not, if you are a lady coming in here, you can put in a dressing table in here as well. You can upgrade the single to become a super single or if you really want to doing up a double decker concept because you have that high ceiling over here. Of course, floor to ceiling, wardrobe has already been done up for you. A lot of space, uh, even a couple that are staying in here. One side can be for the husband, the other side can be uh, for the wife. You save a little bit of space and use, use this cabinet tree in here. Alternatively, because there are some more space in this particular layout, you are able to put in another cabinet or swap out that study area, dressing area for another wardrobe if you really, really do need them. Again, floor to ceiling, window over on this side, enjoying that beautiful, beautiful downtown city view early in the morning where you can open up the window and breathe in that fresh air or late at night, you can actually enjoy the entire span from left to right of the city view. So that's it from the common bedroom. Let's check out the common bathroom before heading over to the master bedroom. Here at the South Beach residents, they really spare no expense and you can actually see here in the common bathroom. All the common bathroom and the master bathroom, essentially all the bathroom featuring that wall hung WC, making it easy to actually clean up your bathroom, whether or not it's you are the one cleaning or your helper is cleaning. Marble is everywhere on the countertop, on the floor tile, on the wall tile, and the appliances, sanitary fitting is by the luxury brand Duravit. And if you are fencing a quick shower, you can do it right at the standing shower. Let's head over to the master bedroom. All right, coming in into the master bedroom, I always love that master bedroom feel because it is really where most people spend their time. You can see that this master bedroom is no different. Beautiful, beautiful space. If you think that common bedroom is big, this is even bigger with the king size bed, two full size bedside table, good high ceiling, beautiful interior design by the developer. 
this is what you can envision even if you're not buying the interior design unit floor to ceiling window overlooking that beautiful Bukit Timah hill as a Chinese say you're gonna buy a house that Khao San Khao Hai I think we have it here just behind us we have the sea just in front of us we have that hill we don't have, really have mountain here in Singapore but at least at the very least we have that small little Bukit Timah hill right in front of us so wake up to that beautiful beautiful view recharge and ready to hustle and take on the day is what you will get here at South Beach Residence coming over on this side you have a lot of walkway space what I will do is either put in a couch in front of your bed or on this side so you can do a little bit of bedside reading before you head into bed proper alternatively just like what the developer has done you can put in a wall hung TV over here for all your entertainment needs alternatively you want to put in a study table dressing table it's up to you to imagine to put it in here for your interior design here we have the floor to ceiling wardrobe definitely enough space for the modern couple there is a little bit of the interesting mechanism over on the wardrobe side let me show you right now Here we are in the master bathroom. Uh, just behind this door, you could not imagine that we have a bathtub from Duravit. Of course, if you fancy just a quick shower, you can do the standing shower over there. WC is wall hung, same thing as the common bathroom, and all the sanitary fitting actually are from the brand Duravit. And in here, as compared to the common bathroom, we have a much longer countertop at the sink area for you to put in more of your beauty care product on the countertop space. So that's it for this master bedroom tour. Let's head back and then head towards the sea view facing bedroom unit. All right, welcome to the two bedroom, one, two, one, six square feet. As you come in here, you have a lobby in here. So if let's say your nosy neighbor want to just pick around the corner, they cannot actually look into your living and dining area. As you come in here, you got a little bit of space here for your display shelf, jewelries, cabinet as it likes. And also on the right side here, we have a kitchen, semi-open concept kitchen area. As we come along for the dining side, we are good enough space for a round table, a four-seater or even a six-seater long table. But of course, if you are an Asian like myself, you would prefer that round table concept in here. Coming along on the living side area, a huge, huge wall panel for you to put in your short throw projection screen, your artwork, your family portrait, your huge OLED LED TV is possible here for gaming, for the lights and entertainment on here of course for the sofa space you can do an l-shaped sofa four seater five seater if let's say you do not need the dining table you can stretch out all the way through to the entire living and dining space so you can see here we have a balcony just behind me that is linking that living dining area your common bedroom and also your master bedroom which we will show you later on at the end of this home tour follow me back to the kitchen area i want to show you how gorgeous is this semi-open concept kitchen. Definitely good enough space for you to do baking, for your countertop space, for you to do a lot of your cooking. In here, appliances, top notch. Miller brand, four cooker stove, induction cooker. Of course, your hood, your hob is by them. Your wine chiller is already been done up for you. If I don't tell you, you will know that this is also a fridge brand new from Miller itself. We have a coffee maker, same brand. A steam oven is possible here. Washing, dryer, right? It's coupled together in one machine. Safe space for you by the developer itself. If you are like me, you like to cook but you don't like to wash, this is a godsend. We have a Miller dishwasher over here as well. So of course, for a modern young family, I think this is really, really ideal. And one other idea that I have is that if let's say it's a small family or probably three or four that is staying in here, you don't need that dinner table. You can actually convert this island kitchenette concept into your dining table. Two person there, two person here, or two person there, one person here and one person here. This could be very well transformed into a dining table and dining set. Bring up that space for a little bit of the study area, work from home area, or even extension of that living room area like I said just now. Okay, so that's it for this semi-open concept kitchen. Let's head over to the common bedroom. 
again you can see that the balcony is linking that living, that common and also the master bedroom. Here we have floor to ceiling, sliding window here. It slides and it covers and it actually occupies a little bit of space only. So if let's say you do want to enjoy this full balcony space area, I think the developer is very meticulous to have installed this kind of sliding door as opposed to the actual kind of sliding which you leave a big panel here that could kind of block your beautiful view that you actually paid for. A good high ceiling, you don't feel as claustrophobic. You can put in a queen size, a king size. If let's say you do put in a queen size, you can still comfortably put in a full size bedside table over here. Sliding floor to ceiling wardrobe in here for all your wardrobe needs. Keith and her panel is a little bit small, but there is another cabinet for you to use if let's say one wardrobe is not enough. Over on this side, if you want to put in a study table, a dressing table, a wall hung TV for your Netflix session is possible here as well. Alternatively, if let's say you do not need a guest bedroom space, you can convert this entire room into a study or work from home space. I can envision table putting in here, two workstation for the husband and the wife, wardrobe converting into shelving for documents, books and the likes and you are able to work here and enjoy the beautiful view that South Beach residents have to offer for you. Very conveniently placed, you have the common bathroom just right next to the common bedroom itself. We are good enough uh, countertop space with the sink. It's almost like a hotel. In fact, JW Marriott is just downstairs. You are actually getting a much better view than most of the hotel guests that is over there. In my own opinion, at least coming in here, Wohang WC is a given. It's a luxury that is a given. Beautiful towels line the wall, the floor, and of course, we have your standing shower for a quick shower before you head out, run in the city, or head out for work. Come on in here, the crown jewel, the star of the show, the star of the two bedder here is definitely the master bedroom. I do like what the interior designer have done up with this space. It's a longish kind of master bedroom, not the squarish kind, but they have done this place so much justice. King size bed in here, full size bedside table is possible in here again with that balcony which you're gonna check out in a few moments time. So please be patient. You have that beautiful view if you step out into the balcony space. Up in front, if you want to put in short throw projection screen, you want your family portrait in here, your beautiful Italian artwork is possible here as well. As you come over in here, we have that three panel of wardrobe space. I think for ladies, I'm not sure if this is enough, but I think for the men, it's definitely enough if we just get one panel of that and leave two panel for that missus. If that is still not enough, we still have a little bit of that island countertop space that means to show off your bags, your accessories, your cufflinks and the likes can be put in here to store more stuff if let's say your wardrobe is bursting at the seams. Coming over on the bathroom side as a two-bader, you have a lot of countertop space to put in. All your beauty regime gel and cleanser is possible to put it in here and then your good size sink and on the left side, what do you know, right? You do have a bathtub in here you want to do a quick soak in the morning or a long soak to soak away that tiredness in the evening, you can do it all here in South Beach residences. Or in fact, if let's say you just do prefer a quick shower, you can do it over here as well. Wall well, WC is a given. All these are top grade marble on the floor, the countertop, the wall. They spare no expense over here on South Beach residence. So without further ado, let's check out the balcony space, shall we? All right, so this is the balcony tour that you guys have been waiting for. It stretches from the master bedroom, common bedroom, living and dining space, and across all the way to the AC latch area. So of course, if you are looking for some hard to hard talk outside of that site of all the nosy family members, you can do it right here. So cover a little bit of that small little private corner for you to enjoy. And when you look out into your balcony, this is what you will get the, all the iconic places and buildings in Singapore. Mostly can be seen on here, of course. We have your other tower of the South Beach residences. On the left side, we have your multi-billion dollar shop house view. 
beautiful city view, especially in the evening. On here, we have the marina view, your greenery view. And over on our right side, we have that beautiful, beautiful sea view when you are so high up in the sky at South Beach Residences. So this longish kind of balcony space is perfect for those that love alfresco dining outdoor. I think in the evening, it will be much better than in the morning or early morning. Or if you are someone that loves to have catering, have guests coming over, have parties, right? A little bit of inside versus outside. Or even if you do love mahjong and do not want to disturb anybody in their sleep, you can do it right here in the balcony space because the rubber seal on all this sliding window is superb, cutting off a lot of that sound when you are doing that washing of the towels. The developer is really meticulous in that they don't put in the normal sliding door that have a panel that will block off your view. But in fact, they put in this kind of folding sliding window for it when you are enjoying that beautiful balcony view. You are able to entirely open up the entire space and not block your beautiful, beautiful sunset view. Definitely a small young couple or a small family will be suitable to stay in here. And as the tagline for South Beach residents go, icon for many and this is home to really a few. Welcome to the three bedroom at South Beach Residence. This is a 1,787 square feet unit. The distinct point of this unit is that it has a large dry kitchen area with a built-in island countertop. It offers the residence an unblocked city view. The double exposure floor to ceiling window in the master bedroom offers the occupier a view to wake up to and also feature a large common bedroom. It also comes with a utility room with a WC and a closed kitchen for heavier cooking. Alright, so that's it for our Blockbuster episode featuring South Beach Residences. So go ahead to like, subscribe and comment down below on our Facebook, Instagram and YouTube at HomeQuartersLG and head to our website homequarters.com.sg to know more about this location and if this is suitable for you. So as usual, remember, call HomeQuarters and start packing. Space for that modern, right, luxurious... Uh... Okay, so I... Uh... <laughs> all across further. One more time. <laughs>